one of the foundational habits for joyful productivity, for being able to work with greater focus and creativity and stamina throughout the day. One of the foundational habits is eating healthier, healthier eating. So let me spend a few minutes to talk with you about that. I think all of us can benefit from occasional reminders to pay more attention to what we're eating and how we're eating. Okay, so let me give you a couple of tips and I also invite you to comment below this video with your favorite tip for, for healthy eating. And I think as you comment, it'll also remind you about that tip and reinforce the, some better habits. Okay, so the first tip that I have for you is to become more observant in how your body and your mind seems to be responding to the foods that you eat. I think that we tend to allow our taste buds to dominate too much the choices of our foods. I think that's natural. What tastes good, we gravitate towards that. But there is another way to choose, which is to observe once you're eating something, how it makes your body and your mind feel, especially afterwards. Okay, so I invite you now to, to allow this other way of deciding to come more into the picture rather than just your taste buds. Kind of try to diminish that a bit and, and, imp and increase your observational powers of what your body and brain is telling you to eat. Okay? Now, um, there are many different diets and I'm not going to suggest a particular diet to you, right? But, but I, I simply want to ask you to observe, to become more observant. And as you observe, you will increase and sharpen that ability over time to notice, oh, when I eat this, when I drink this, I feel this. And it sounds so obvious, but it's not in, in our daily practice. We need to become sharper at noticing, oh, when I eat this, you know, I feel this certain way. Whether it's I feel worse, I feel more uh, lethargic, or I feel more, um, feel more anxious, or I feel more... Uh, you know, joyful, right? So notice those things. Or I feel full quickly after eating this particular food or even after eating this food, I, I still feel hungry. So just become, my encouragement for you is to become more observant about that, to sharpen that ability going forward, okay? So that you can let that help you decide the foods you eat and not only your taste buds and not only your mental cognitive mind about, oh, I should be eating this or I should be eating that. Okay? All right, so that's the first thing. The second uh, tip I have for you is to think about certain anchor meals in your day that allow you, your body, to have the nutrients that you know is good for it. So my anchor meals in the day are breakfast and my afternoon snack. Okay? Those are my nutritional delivery meals throughout the day so that my lunch and dinner can be more free to eat whatever you know my taste buds are interested in that that's not too bad for me uh, but my 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 breakfast and my afternoon snack I make sure I'm getting the nutrients that I need throughout the day and it's nice because breakfast and afternoon snack are kind of um, you know, two they're many hours apart so that I get the nutrients I need in those two times um, and I also take vitamins three times a day so that that is helpful for me. Uh, and three times a day is like, well, I have at least three meals a day. Uh, and when I say at least three meals, I actually technically I have, uh, you could say I have five meals a day, but the, uh, my breakfasts tends to be bigger, my dinner tends to be bigger, my mid-morning snack is very small, my lunch is very small, and my afternoon snack is, is, is you know, decent size, not, not very big. My afternoon snack is when I have my green smoothie, and that's usually two cups. It's quite substantial. Um, so I, I encourage you to think about your anchor meals where you get the nutrients so that you can have the freedom. And I think uh, some, sometimes we are too hard on ourselves, that we got to eat healthy every single meal. And I think that uses a lot of willpower, and it's quite challenging to, to keep that up. But if you think about the anchor meals, which are, your, which are your several anchor meals where you get the, your nutrients, right? Then you, you feel more freedom 
to experiment with the other meals and to use more of your taste buds to decide those meals. Um, my next tip for you is to, dis to, to notice which meal you eat tends to have the greatest effect on your weight. This is quite interesting. I noticed, I experimented, and I noticed that lunch and my mid-morning snack, those two meals, if I eat a lot less in those two meals, my weight is much easier to manage. But if I eat a bigger lunch, okay, I almost certainly will gain weight that night. I weigh myself at the end of each day. And it's the strangest thing. It doesn't matter how much I eat breakfast, it doesn't matter how much dinner I eat, it doesn't matter how much dessert I had. The strangest thing is it's that mid morning it's that sometime between 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. is when somehow my body gains weight or loses weight depending on how much I eat during the, that window. It may be different for you. It may be dinner time is important for you or maybe breakfast is important for you. So I just invite you to experiment and observe what tends to have an effect on your weight management, what time of the day, what meal, uh, volume, okay? Um, I will include more tips uh, underneath the video, some links to help you, inspire you to eat more healthy. And of course, I invite you to comment underneath the video with your favorite tip and hopefully we can all uh, inspire each other in the comment section to, to eat more healthy and to notice. And oh, one more thing I wanna say is also what you drink has a great effect on your joyful productivity as well. I drink tea throughout the day, different types of tea, usually green tea, it's some type of green tea, oolong or jasmine, but I always try to get organic green tea. That helps me. Another type of tea that really helps uh, some people I've recommended this to is Yerba mate, yerba mate, Y E R B A, and then the next word is mate, M A T E. You can get yerba mate easily, organic yerba mate easily at Trader Joe's. They sell that. Whole Foods, um, most healthy grocery stores will have yerba mate, or, or you can get it online, of course, on Amazon and other places. Uh, I don't like yerba mate as much anymore. I used to drink it a lot, but I like green tea better now. Uh, but yerba mate uh, tends to give people a really smooth. Um, uh, energy level rather than a, a peak and a, and a dip that, that caffeine tends to have for some people. So try yerba mate if you've never tried it before. Another type of tea to try is rooibos, R-O-O-B-O-I-S, R-O-O-B-O-I-S. Rooibos can, can have a good effect for, for some people on their energy level throughout the day. I know a lot of people swear by coffee. Coffee can help people think more clearly sometimes, so you might want to try that uh, if you haven't in a while. Um, but tea or coffee tends to be really beneficial for joyful productivity as well. So I look forward to seeing your tips below the video and I wish you healthier eating.